Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. And the company I'll be working with today is Ali Pearl Hair. They sent me over a 22 inch, 180% density, 13 by four transparent lace front wig. These are all the items that you would get inside your box. This wig features three combs in the inside and an adjustable strap at the bottom. Like I said, this is a full 13 by four frontal wig, so you can do deep side parts as well. Um, once again, it is transparent lace and it does come pre-plucked. Um, the hair was catching a little bit out the box, um, but that's to be noticeable. It is body wave hair and it is thick, but it, it wasn't nothing major at all. So now we're gonna get started with this jet black watercolor. So you wanna take your free spray and you wanna spray that lays real, real good, be very generous, and you wanna blow dry it. What this is gonna do is, this is gonna keep your knots from staining. So you wanna do about three coats of this. So what you wanna do is you just wanna spray the spray and then blow dry it and then keep doing it until you get that hard cast. You may have to do more than three coats depending on how much you spray. So for our jet black color, our super black color, we're gonna use the Kiss Temptation Jet Black and we're gonna mix that with the Adore Royal Navy. I know you may think, why are we mixing a blue hair dye with a black hair dye? But just trust me, it's gonna get the blackest black ever. And make sure you fill up your bucket with just straight up pure hot water from the faucet. And now we're just mixing all those colors together. You wanna make sure that it is no lumps or clumps in your water, because if it is, those lumps will actually stain the lace. You wanna make sure that all that dye is fully mixed in that water. And once it's fully mixed, you can go ahead and start dipping your wig. Do not be afraid, it's not gonna stain your lace. I used to be so scared to do jet black watercolor, but y'all, I do it all the time now. Don't be afraid. Even if your lace starts to look a little blue or whatnot, once you bleach the knots, that's gonna go away. So don't even worry about that. You wanna make sure you're just dipping it. And also brush the hair while you're dipping it to make sure that color is getting in between the wig as well. And we're gonna let that sit for five minutes. And once those five minutes are up, we're just gonna rinse that out with pure cool water from the faucet. You wanna always rinse your watercolors out with cool water because sometimes using hot water, you can go ahead and dull your color out and you don't wanna um, take away what you just did. So make sure you're rinsing with cool water. So now it's time to bleach those knots. We're gonna use our BW2 powder and our Superstar 4D volume developer. You wanna mix these two till you get a real thick consistency to where when you hold your brush upside down that the um, mixture doesn't fall off the brush. But you don't want it too, too thick where you can't even spread it at all. So you just wanna to try to find the perfect medium. And now you just wanna apply that bleach to those knots. Make sure that you mainly apply it to like the front hairline because that is what's actually gonna matter. So even if you don't have enough bleach to cover the entire frontal, just make sure you get the entire hairline um, because that's what's gonna matter. That's what people see first. They really can't see the back of your wig. You can always throw some concealer back there if you miss any knots, but make sure you get that um, bleach on the very front like where the hairline is going to be so once i apply all that bleach i'm going to flip the wig um back to the normal way and if i have any hairs laying in the bleach i'm going to pick those off the bleach because if you leave those laying on that bleach there they'll turn blonde as well and you'll have blonde roots and then you'll have to finesse and you don't feel like doing all that so once you turn it out if you have any hairs laying on the bleach just get them off of there 
And this is the hair with um, conditioner in it after I um, rinse the bleach off the knots. And this is the wig after I blow dried it and plucked it some. As you can see, it's really, really black and it's really full. I love this wig. So now it's time to get into this install. I'm using my Ruby Kisses number 14, the lightest shade in that duo. And I've already put it on her cap and now we're gonna put it on the lace as well. So now you want to position the wig on your client's head and then you want to just get it adjusted to their head. Use those adjustable straps in the back to make sure it has a secure fit. And then you want to go ahead and cut out those ear tabs. For our glue for today, we'll be using Boho Active. We'll be using three layers. You wanna dot that along the edge of the um, cap line, making sure you do get some glue on the skin. And you wanna smooth that back as thin as possible. And you wanna make sure each layer turns clear before you add another one. And like I said before, we are using three layers today. Once that last layer is completely dry, we're gonna go ahead and lay that lace down.
and you want to use the teeth of the comb to help you um, push that lace into the skin and you also want to use your blow dryer to help make sure that that glue is melting down. And now we're gonna take our elastic band, we're gonna tie this down for about 10 minutes. This is just gonna give you that ultimate secured melted look. And after those 10 minutes are up, you're gonna go ahead and proceed to cut off your excess lace.
and this is the lace after all the excess lace is cut off as you can see it is pretty melted down but it does have some discoloration so we're going to fix that by adding some more makeup to the lace before we um spray it down with our melting hairspray And before I spray my lace with hairspray and tie it down with the elastic band, I like to take my wax stick and my hot comb and go ahead and lay my part into place. And then I like to separate my baby hairs. And now you want to spray that lace with your favorite hairspray. And once you get done spraying it, you want to tie it down with your elastic band.
And as you can see, honey, that lace is melted. Now it's time to um, do our baby hairs. You want to take your favorite um, foaming mousse, and you just want to lay your baby hairs into place. Make sure that the um, foam or mousse you're using is alcohol-free. Now off camera, I did go ahead and cut some layers into her hair. If you want to see how I lay her hair for curls, just watch my um, latest two other hair videos because I did the, pretty much did the same style, which was the side part on curls. And I showed you guys how I layered the hair. Now I'm just taking my Tresemme hairspray and I'm spraying that all over the hair. And we're about to get ready to curl this hair using our T3 single pass 1.25 inch curling irons and we're just going to pin each curl as we go and let them cool down.
Make sure that your baby hairs are fully dry before you take these wraps off. If you take them off and they're not fully dry, you could possibly have um, ugly baby hairs. And not only that, you could possibly have a lifted lace and you do not want that. So please make sure that everything is dry before you take those wraps off. So now it's time to take those pink curls out and we're going to use our Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray to give the hair a beautiful gloss and to also minimize frizz while we are um, running our fingers through these curls. I'm also going to use my razor comb to add some more curls to the front just to give a more face framing layer. And once again, this is that Ellie Pearl Body Wave 22 inch transparent lace front wig, 180% density. I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. Make sure you also leave me a comment on some other styles you want to see me feature on my channel. Thank you guys so much. I love y'all. Goodbye.